Um, continuing on from that, continuing on from that, we have this article here, courtesy of Fortune magazine. Pretty fucking hilarious because of the own goal it's going to cause and the backlash it's going to make. I don't know why the screen's so grey, but you can see here, Lululemon's billionaire founder slams the company's diversity and inclusion efforts. You've got to be clear that you don't want certain customers coming in. Yo, this is kind of wild, but I'm not going to lie, I respect it. I kind of respect when people are outright with their fucking bigotry, with their racism, with their discrimination. I kind of like it up front and in public. I don't like it when it's subversive, when it's done, you know, under the guise of being inclusive, when it's kind of done trying to be kind. No, if you actually don't want a certain type of customer and you don't want to represent your brand, say it with your whole chest. But also, you're not allowed to cry when everybody turns their backs on your company then don't dust don't don't start crying and then start you know your new advertisements having everybody from all shapes and sizes all over the world representing your brand because you want to get back in people's good books no if you don't want certain people if you don't want the fatties if you don't want the people who aren't probably in super tight shape then say it with your chest but then also don't be surprised if that has a trickle down effect and ends up impacting your company more than you actually realize that's what i don't want but you're free to say what you want but then you're not free from the consequences of what you say. That's the main thing. Let's read the article here. It says, while many CEOs are shouting about they've increased efforts to ramp up diversity and the business of one founder is promoting the exact opposite. <laughs> Lululemon's billionaire founder, Chip Wilson. Chip Wilson sounds like a name of somebody that wouldn't like black people, no, right? A Chip. I wouldn't imagine a Chip Wilson will be a fan of um, the marginalized, right? The unre unrepresented. Um, Lou Lemon's been in the founder, Chip, West Chip Wilson, insists that inclusivity, exclusivity, sorry, trumps inclusivity while blasting the posh leggings company he stepped down from 10 years ago. To be fair, there is a point he's making there because this relates a bit to the Bergheim. Berghain and most popular nightclubs that I like to go to or the clubs that most people like to go to do have an element of inclusivity about them. There is a lot of kind of suggested exclusivity. Hey, you can't come to this party. Some parties even in London don't advertise on traditional platforms. You can't find them on RA. You can't find them on Design My Night. You can't find them on fucking Eventbrite. You can't find them on Facebook events. They all do their stuff via discrete Telegram groups, via word of mouth, via sometimes email blast, whatever it may be, but they do it with the sole purpose of keeping out a certain subsect of customers, mostly tech house heads and bros and all this sort of stuff, and maybe some black guys. But for the most part, they do it because they want to protect the people on the inside. So everybody kind of does it in their own way. Now, they will make it seem like, oh, we want to create a safe space. It's about creating a safe space for our people, our community, blah, blah, blah. But there is a little bit of exclusion going on there. So maybe this is kind of the par of course with most things. But let's continue here. They're trying to become like the Gap. And we have to also remember, this guy is the former CEO or the He's not involved in the company anymore. Right? I think he stepped down. So this is really destructive because he's not even involved in the company and he's saying these things and it's most likely going to harm the company that he's even a part of. Do you know what I mean? This is a really sad thing about it. So the, the actual Lululemon is probably inclusive and diverse and doing all the good things that they should be doing to make sure they're brand representative of the wider world and stuff, right? Cool. But him not being involved is probably going to have a negative effect on how people view, it, view the company, even though he's not fucking involved there actively. Crazy. Anyway, his quote. They're trying to become like the Gap. Everything for everybody. Wilson, who is estimated to be worth $8.7 billion, said in an interview with Forbes. To be fair, if you're worth $8.7 billion, you should be able to say what you want. Yeah, you got enough money. You probably got more money that, than you can spend, right, in your remaining life, your remaining years on planet Earth. Probably say what the fuck you want. Now, whether or not that has an impact on you in real life is another thing, but you should be able to say what you want. You should be able to. That should be one of the... Um, one of the prizes of becoming ultra wealthy that you kind of can get away with whatever you want look at fucking Epstein Island that's what that was right that was an exercise in how much can we get away with because those guys after you bought all the Ferraris after you bought all the horses all the houses all the castles the only logical step to go is to become a bigot 
is to become a hate-filled person and also to take advantage of people by abusing, being a pedo, being a sex pest and stuff. That's the only logical way to go, right? Instead of doing humanitarian work, instead of being a, you know, a valuable member of your community, instead of giving back to the places where you come from or making people's lives easier or helping them out with your amazing wealth or distributing to others, whatever. No, fuck all that shit. Let's take advantage of people. Let's be an animal and let's exploit people more and more. That's the, that's the, that's the big way to go. <laughs> let's continue. And I think the definition of a brand is that you're not everything to everybody. You've got to be clear that you don't want certain customers to come in. What kind of business model is this? You don't want certain customers. What customers do you want then? Like, <laughs> that is wild. You don't want certain customers to come in. It's fucking insane. So the activewear giant is clearly onto something. Wilson has added almost 4 billion to his net worth since 2020, nearly all because of the rise of the value of his 8% stock in Lululemon. He's got 8% stock in Lululemon, but that accounted for 4 billion dollars to his net worth so how much is lululemon worth overall then god almighty bro if eight percent accounts for four billion that whole company must be worth a lot of money <laughs> god almighty i didn't know it was that big um it's not the first time wilson has expressed his disdain for the brainchild um whole diversity inclusion thing having reportedly faced backlash for anti-asian sexist and fat phobic comments Yo, why does he hate everybody? <laughs> Who does he like then? Who does he want wearing the stuff that he makes? He doesn't want fats. He doesn't want Asians. He doesn't want what? He doesn't want women, which is odd because Lululemon, when I think of Lululemon, I think of like hot girls wearing those fucking leggings. That's who I think of right when i think of lululemon i think of gay guys who like wearing those um sites because those gay guys especially when i go out clubbing and stuff they love the little um cross body bag they got lululemon have this like little i forgot what it's like a bag got a cross body and it's got lululemon written on the fucking webbing on the strap gay guys when i go clubbing in the clubs that i go to techno clubs you will see a gay guy with it topless across his body and shit so i see mostly women wearing the tights and gay guys wearing the bags but those are their two biggest customers or two biggest ambassadors and he hates them right it's so bizarre and in fat phobic thing it's like come on bro kind of kind of little fatty be able to kind of tuck her fupa into some leggings what's wrong with that what's wrong with that what is wrong with somebody a bit chunky wanting to maybe you know keep the chunk somewhat compressed under some leggings or a bra top there's nothing wrong with that whatsoever come on bro fucking hell the american canadian entrepreneur has was mostly um has most infant sorry most inf infamously insisted that the company's most popular product the leggings is not for everybody it technically is though isn't it Leggings are technically for everybody because they technically help everybody get a little bit more snatched. Even if you're skinny, they help to accentuate what you already have. And if you're fat, they help to tighten it up and keep it in somewhat, you know, less of a flabby state. Um, if anything, leggings are the most universal of all products when it comes to that. Uh, most specifically, plus women, when they came under fire for being see-through. Um, they don't work for some women's bodies, he says. He told Bloomberg's television street to smart in 2013 before stepping down as a firm CEO, then leaving the board entirely in 2015. So he's left the company completely. He's not involved. He stepped down as CEO. He's left the board, but he's still able to make as much money as he did there. Four billion from, from an 8% stock. Brilliant. Um, he could t I like that he left under that fucking controversy and still talking this shit. Um, it's funny to watch them try and say it he told Canada's National Post he's also spoken in favor of children working <laughs> this guy is an absolute this guy is an absolute villain isn't it he has spoken in favor of children working in factories to earn money and avoid poverty he blamed birth control for the rising divorce rates and described plus size clothing as money loser for businesses yo Maybe, I don't know if that is technically true, if plus size clothing does lose money for companies, but he's actually an advocate for children working in factories. Because if, like, in, I guess he's basically saying in the countries that children work in factories, um, you know, they, the, the, the unemployment rate is super high. Kids have to work in factories. There's not many jobs going around. And if they don't work in factories, their family don't eat. Right. So what would you rather? Would you rather a family go hungry to basically appease your liberal ideals or would you rather have a kid work in a factory and shit? 
because there's no if fixing the infrastructure and improving lives overnight you have to kind of use what is available at the moment i don't really know but it's a fucking crazy thing to say that to be pro um children working in factories it's fucking crazy um in a statement provided to fortune lululemon's company spokesperson said that chip wilson does not speak for lululemon and his comments do not reflect our company's views or beliefs chip also has not been involved in the company since his resignation from the board in 2015 and he we are a very different company today jesus christ a double standard duh, 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 since um the de departure of lululemon has been trying to shake off the idea that it's exclusively for upper class um white women of a certain stature through inclusive marketing and a bolstering its diversity and inclusion commitments to be fair they've done a good job of it i always thought lululemon was a bit white and was a bit yuppie-ish when i think of lululemon i would think of um who's that lady from goop that's who i would think of instantly but i think they, they, have, done, they have done a good job of shaking that kind of idea of themselves but such efforts have often been labeled tokenization um tokenistic by celebrities consumers and staff members but of course how do you how else are you going to disprove or shake that image of being super white and being super upper middle class you have to do a better tokenism there is no other way to do it you have to be heavy-handed and just have a united colors of benetton all shapes and sizes advert um to kind of push another image of yourself that's the only way to do it and obviously send loads of free stuff to influencers of all shapes and sizes for around the world you kind of have to do it heavy-handedly there's no subtle way of trying to readjust address the balance or try to rewrite how you're basically viewed out there however over a dozen employees of the firm told business of fashion it was launched to protect the company's image first and foremost and the company often denied black employees job opportunity in favor of less qualified white counterparts okay cool this is probably the most concerning thing i think if a company is just doing the heavy-handed hey we want to represent the world to make more money thing i don't think it's necessarily that bad the problem is more so behind the scenes when you have issues around you know people not being able to get promotions or not being recommended for certain roles despite being qualified for them and that being maybe incredibly like it's, it's like the tremaine thing and tremaine was complaining about supreme our oh, supreme is super you know trying to put this image about being you know multicultural and all this sort of shit and representing black people but in the actual head office they don't actually have a lot of black people in powerful positions in the sweet seat that's where i can see you could be a bit annoyed in that regard if you work on the inside but i think as customers if you weren't for Lululemon and you thought they were a bit white and up in middle class and they start, they changed it with this sort of stuff, I think this is a really good way to go about it. So I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at it. But Chip Wilson is a fucking psycho.